This is your CBS 46 News Update. Good morning, I'm Rob Hughes. Today we're expecting to learn more about the arrest made in the shooting death of a pregnant woman, Akila Ware, shot while driving in LaGrange, Georgia on Tuesday. This morning, the Troop County Sheriff's Office will announce the name of the suspect and the charges. Authorities say that person was arrested in Fayetteville, North Carolina. There's no word yet on a motive. Stick with CBS 46 throughout the day for the latest developments on this story. New details about a massive drug bust in Henry County. Four and a half million dollars worth of meth found in an Ellenwood home. Authorities say the suspects were running a meth conversion lab, storing more than 1,600 pounds of the drug. DEA agents we talked to say meth is by far the biggest threat in that region. It's cheap and addictive for struggling users. These labs can also pose a danger to unsuspecting neighbors. Agents say these criminals are good at going unnoticed. I had a dime for every time we went out there and a neighbor said, oh, there's such nice people. We had no idea. Um, but that's exactly what by design. They don't want attention from law enforcement and they don't want attention from other drug dealers that may be looking to rob them. In this case, the feds arrested three men they say are here illegally from Mexico. Police are asking for your help in tracking down a suspected serial robber in Gwinnett County. This man is suspected in three armed robberies between June and September. Each time the suspect entered a store, flashed a black handgun in his waistband and demanded money. In all, he's made off with $750. If you recognize him, call Gwinnett County Police. Pfizer has asked the FDA for an emergency use authorization for kids age 5 to 11. The shots could be ready for the age group possibly before Thanksgiving. Pediatricians say this getting approved will improve national immunization as kids make up 27% of reported COVID cases. The FDA's Vaccine Advisory Board Committee is set to discuss Pfizer's request October 26th. Parents once again protesting outside the Cobb County Board of Education pushing for more COVID safety measures. Some parents claim too much misinformation is being spread by some members of the board. We're told Vice Chairman David Banks upset parents when he sent an email that talked about COVID vaccine deaths and the government intentionally killing its citizens. To have someone in a position of authority at a school board saying literal falsehoods and things that have been widely disproven, it's just mind blowing and you feel helpless. You the district is facing several lawsuits, including one demanding the district implement a mask mandate. OK, let's get the latest on today's weather with meteorologist Ella Dorsey. Ella? It is going to be a nice day, nicer than the rest of the week has been. That's for sure. The sun will return through the afternoon. We'll see a few hit and miss showers, but not nearly the washout conditions that we've had. Temperatures reach the upper 70s today. Dry and cooler tonight. We'll see morning lows in the low 60s. By the way, after midday today, rain chances look minimal through the entire week and next weekend. So setting up a really nice seven day forecast. It will be on the warm side. Highs near 80 every day. Lots of sunshine over the next week. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.